Hi everyone, I will tell you about one of the strategy in teaching mathematics, which is RCEM approach. What is RCEM approach? It is an approach that has been developed at Regional College of Education, Mysore, Karnataka, India. This approach makes use of systems approach to education. It consists of teaching objectives and learning experiences. The question teaching is considered as an interactive process. It is commonly known as RCEM approach to lesson planning. The basis of this approach is Bloom's taxonomy of objectives. Here, the importance is given to teaching objectives, teachers' activities, and pupils' evaluation. Main steps or aspects involved in this approach are First, input. Input step is concerned with the identification and specification of educational objectives. It also includes the identification of the entering behavior of the students. The objectives are written in behavioral terms. This step resembles the introduction step. It also refers to the objectives of the plan. They are known as expected behavioral outcome or EBO. They are classified into following categories, knowledge, understanding, application, and creativity. The second step is process. This step is concerned with the presentation of content matter. Activities of teacher and students are involved in this process. This step resembles the presentation step of Herbartian approach. It represents the interaction process of the classroom. It includes activities of the teacher as well as students and use of different teaching strategies. The process refers to the teaching strategies. They are communication strategy, instructional aids, learning situation, and technique of motivation. The last step is output. It is concerned with the evaluation phase of the lesson. Teacher uses various evaluation tools and techniques to know the extent of achievement of instructional objectives. This includes the real behavioral changes among students. It also refers to the real learning outcome. This includes general and specific objectives. Characteristics of RCEM First, writing or converting objectives into behavioral term is easy. Second, the construction of test items is convenient. Third, this approach lays more stress on mental activities. Fourth, this approach has been developed in and according to Indian conditions. Fifth, all educational objectives can be written in behavioral terms in this approach. Sixth, the objectives in behavioral terms are more specific and definite. Seventh, RCEM gives more importance to the learning process than learning outcomes. There are merits in RCEM approach. Number one, it is more suitable to Indian schools. Number two, objectives are stated in terms of measurable abilities and mental process. Number three, teaching learning situations, strategies, aids, and materials are properly stated. Number four, evaluation aspect is properly taken care of. There are also demerits in this approach. Number one, it is very tedious to write lesson plan of this type. Number two, it is time consuming. Theories or concepts that support RCEM approach. As it has already been mentioned that Robert Mugger's scheme of writing objectives in behavioral terms has some limitations. Keeping in view the limitations of Mugger's scheme, Regional College of Education Mysore or RCEM developed its own scheme which is known as RCEM system. In Mugger's scheme, more emphasis is laid on the product while process is more important in RCEM system. In this system, mental abilities are also considered more important. This Institute of Mysore adapted Bloom's taxonomy as its base. Bloom has divided cognitive objectives into six objectives, but RCEM has changed Bloom's six cognitive objectives into four objectives only. The later three objectives of Bloom, such as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, have been named as creativity in RCEM system. All the mental Abilities involved in these four objectives have been placed into 17 categories. Hence, we see that all the activities of human learning have been divided into 17 mental abilities. These mental abilities are used in writing objectives in behavioral terms. RCEM approach has some limitations which are as follows. Number one, if we see the table of objectives, it would be clear that there is no balance between various mental activities for different objectives. In cognitive objectives, there are two. In understanding objectives, there are seven. In application objectives, there are five. And in creativity objectives, there are three mental activities.
Number two, it is a difficult task to associate various elements of the content with the various mental activities. Number three, Gelford has suggested 120 mental abilities while this system has suggested only 17 mental abilities. Number four, this system is more useful for cognitive objectives only because use of a single design for cognitive, affective, and psychomotor objectives does not seem to be appropriate. According to Edtech site, the following are the ways on how to write the objectives of RCEM approach. Number one, have in mind the entry behavior of the learner. Number two, think again the element of content or topic to be given to the learner. Number three, think again the teaching objectives. Number four, in view of the entry behavior, element of content, and the particular objective, try to select appropriate mental process for writing the objective in question. Number five, make use of the 17 frames of the RCEM approach and fill in the blanks in view of the entry behavior of the learner and learning experiences given to him. Summary of the theory or concept. Robert Mager's scheme of writing objectives in behavioral terms has some limitations. RCEM developed its own code as RCEM system. The process is the most important in this system, and RCEM changed the six cognitive objectives of Bloom into four objectives. The later three objectives of Bloom, such as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, have been placed together into one and named as creativity in RCEM system. All the mental abilities involved in these four objectives have been placed into 17 categories. These mental abilities are used in writing objectives in behavioral terms. RCEM approach has many limitations. One of these limitations is there is no balance between several mental activities for different objectives. Another limitation is it is a tough to associate many elements of the content with the several mental activities. One more limitation is that this system has only suggested 17 mental abilities while Gelford has suggested 120 mental abilities. Last limitation is this this system is more useful only for cognitive objectives because use of a single design for cognitive, affective, and psychomotor objectives does not seem to be suitable. There are ways on how to write objectives of RCEM approach according to the site of EdTech. First, think the entry behavior of the learner. Next, is think again the element of content or topic to be given on the students. Then again, think the teaching objectives. Next, is try to select suitable mental process for writing the objectives in question. Lastly, use the 17 frames of the RCEM approach and fill in the blanks in view of the entry behavior of the student and learning experiences given to him. RCEM approach is more focused on the process. It makes use of system approach to education. RCEM approach lesson plan format. Date, period, class, time, subject, topic, educational objectives, previous knowledge, teaching materials, teaching points, motivation, presentation, and homework. And now, I will show you the sample lesson plan. Thank you and God bless.